can't eat them, but I'm still excited. <laughs> and now she's done. That's so good. Good morning from Portland, Oregon. We got up before the crack of dawn this morning to drive here for the day. We are super excited to be here because we're gonna go around to some of our favorite places to eat, favorite places to drink, get a little naughty and get some desserts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we have a big day on deck. So this actually isn't our first time vlogging from Portland. So one of our first few vlogs that we ever did, we went to the Columbia River Gorge in Portland for a day. So if you have not seen that yet, check it out. Uh, we're gonna hit up all different spots today, so if you have seen it, don't worry. But basically, if you combine that vlog with this vlog, you would have our version of a perfect day in Portland, Oregon. Oh yeah. So our first stop is Pip's Original Donuts and Chai. There's this big donut culture in Portland. So there's Voodoo Donuts, which I'm sure many of you have heard of. It's very, very famous. And there's Blue Star Donuts, and people kind of debate on which of the two are the best. We've never had Blue Star, and we hear that one might be better. We've only had Voodoo, which is a pretty fun experience. People wait like an hour in line to get donuts from there. It's pretty crazy. We'll walk by there later and show you the line. I'm sure it'll be bad today. But we actually like this place called Pip's better. It is super cute. It's a little far out of town, but it's definitely worth the try. Got the cutest little donuts here at Pips. We got, uh, this one's honey and sugar. This is a Nutella one. This one is what's called a Dirty Woo. It's like sugar and Nutella and honey. I think honey also. And then this is a candy maple bacon one. That's my, uh, the one I'm most excited for. Oh yeah. You make them hot and fresh. Hot and fresh, yeah, each one. Sweet and salty and it's like still soft on the inside, warm. <laughs> so the mini donuts are super, super cute, but what makes this place so awesome is they have flights of chai tea. Look at this. So they give you this helpful sheet so when you're drinking them, you know which one you're drinking. So we have the Smoky, Smoky Robinson, which is rich and smoky with vanilla, cinnamon, clove, some things I can't pronounce, and it's best hot. We have, this one's the King and I, which is woodsy, fragrant, black Thai tea, cardamom, clove, some other spices. We have Emmy Lou, which is lavender, and some other flavors as well, some honey. We have the Ginger Rogers, which is ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, molasses. The, this one, um, oh no, never mind. I'm thinking of the next one. The next one's the Heart of Gold. That one's kind of almost like one of those golden milk lattes. So it's coconut, turmeric, clove, cardamom. Um, they all look really good. We've had these before and I don't remember which one was my favorite. So we're gonna test them all out again and then say which one we like the best. So I'm trying the Heart of Gold first because I'm on a really big golden milk latte kick right now. And so I'm most excited for this one. That's so good. It's just sweet and creamy and has some really good spice flavors. So I don't know about the others, but this one's number one so far. <laughs> so after my expert opinion, my chai tea connoisseur uh, experience That's come out. That's a lie. We're, we are chai tea connoisseurs, <laughs> so don't believe us. Uh, after trying all of them, I think the ginger one is my favorite. It's uh, just has the best flavor to me, but they're all really good. Even the lavender one, which I think I mentioned in other vlogs that I'm not a big flowery person on foods and drinks, but it's actually pretty good. So if the super cute donuts and the chai flights did not convince you to go to Pips, this might. So on your birthday or seven business days after, they'll give you a free dozen donuts. So cool. We have yet to time our visits around our birthdays. We might have to do that next time. And we recommend you do that too, because who doesn't want free donuts? Adam, where are we going next? We're getting some biscuits. Woo! Yeah, so we're going to Pine State Biscuits. Uh, super popular biscuit place here in Portland. We haven't had the chance to try it, but today is the day. I'm excited, I'm hungry. I can't eat them, but I'm still excited. <laughs> This 
little gym is called the Reggie Deluxe. It's on a beautiful biscuit here, fried chicken, gravy, cheese and egg and bacon. All the perfect ingredients for us. And I got a plate of hash browns literally bigger than my face <laughs> with some full pork on top. So that Reggie Deluxe was delicious. Loved every bite of it. The biscuit was so fluffy and warm and soft. And, mm. uh, the bacon, <laughs> just all the intense flavors were spectacular. Only complaint is I would ask for a little bit more gravy next time I come, but can't complain. It was off the charts. The biscuit did look super soft and fluffy. I was a tad jealous, but my hash browns were awesome too. One thing I did want to say though, is that we normally don't eat like this. Like we don't <laughs> just eat back to back and we don't even eat out that much at all. We basically like anytime we vlog and we're eating, that's usually the only time we're eating out that whole month. So we basically saved our eating out budget this month for today. So we're going to go ham. <laughs> So this location of Pine State Biscuits, because I think they have two total in Portland. This one's in the Alberta Arts District, which is one of the cool neighborhoods in Portland. So Portland, similar to Seattle, is just made up of a bunch of really cool little neighborhoods. And they're mostly just like little streets. So this one is on Alberta Street. And then one of the other neighborhoods we love is on Mississippi Avenue, I think. I'm not sure. Um, they're really just fun to walk around. And this one's especially cool because there's just a ton of cool murals like this one behind me. So we're going to walk around see some of the murals, and then head to our next stop. So our plan was to go to the Rose Garden next. The International Rose Test Garden is what it's called. It's a very popular spot in Portland, but... <laughs> yes, yeah, so we were looking on Instagram to see what we were getting ourselves into. We've been there before, but we were just double checking if it would be cool this time. And we look on there and it's just, what did you say, twigs and Yeah, sticks? it was like twigs. There were no flowers There's at no all. Roses. <laughs> so we figured that wouldn't be exhilarating uh, vlog content. So we're gonna skip that, but do go there if you're here. So Definitely. basically, April to October is the best time to go, but June is really the best month to go. That's when they're most in bloom. And there's like 10,000 bushes of roses and like 650 varieties. So yeah. it's really, really, really cool. You gotta check it out. But not today. So <laughs> instead, we're gonna go to one of Portland's most famous tourist attractions. Welcome to Powell City of Books. So Powell's is the world's largest independent bookstore. This place is huge. We come here every time we're in Portland. It's just really fun to walk around. I don't think we've actually seen the whole place yet. Like every time we come, we try to explore a new area, but it would take a long time to actually fully explore this place. And as I mentioned earlier, it is like really big tourist attraction, probably a locals attraction too, I'm not sure, but it's always busy. It's really cool. They have really cool Portland kind of books here and just any book you can imagine. This book is what sparked our entire move from Texas to Seattle. I read this book on an airplane on a work trip and just felt so inspired to go out and explore this awesome world we live in. And so we decided we were gonna move. So thank you, Cheryl. It's all because of you. Just like Austin, the official slogan of Portland is keep Portland weird. <laughs> So every Saturday and Sunday from March to Christmas Eve, Portland puts on a big Saturday market, which I know is confusing because it's Saturday and Sunday, but it's called the Saturday market. <laughs> Whatever. There's tons of uh, awesome smells, beautiful food to see. They're really tempting to me. Uh, lots of cool stuff to check out, t-shirts, all kinds of knickknacks. There's people like playing music. It's right on the water. And on a beautiful day like today, oh, yeah. where there's like not one cloud in the sky, which is crazy. It's you just can't beat it. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I 
we got hungry, so we got snack. Yum yum. <laughs> so it's beef and lamb euro meat with onions and veggies and feta makes it better. Oh yeah. <laughs> Some tzatziki should hold us over until our next food spot. <laughs> so that food was way better than we expected. If you're here at the market, check out Angelina's Greek food. The meat was just it was mm, really good. Salty to die Especially for. Especially for a market. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. But it was a mixture of like kind of crispy and soft. Oh no, I'm running into a tree. <laughs> um, it was just delicious. So yeah. highly recommend it. Also, while we may have missed the roses today, all the cherry blossoms are popping out on the beautiful, waterfront. It's beautiful. so pretty. So we're going to check that out. Keep walking day. around the market. Yeah. What a day. It is so nice out today. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, one of Portland's nicknames is Bridge City or also Bridge Town. And that's because there are 12 bridges that span this river that runs along the city. So there's one behind me right now. There's one right there. I can see another one. There's a bunch back there. So lots of bridges. <laughs> We came over to the Hawthorne area of Portland to check out two coffee shops. And this first one is super unique because it's inside of an old bus! So this coffee shop, or should I say coffee bus, is called Tove. And the really cool thing about this coffee shop, besides being in a bus, is that it's an Egyptian and Turkish coffee shop. So they have some traditional kind of coffee drinks, but the drinks that we got are not traditional. They're Egyptian or Turkish, so we're really excited to try them. We had them about a year ago when we were here, and we loved them. It's just a really fun experience coming here, and very different than any other coffee shop in Portland. So we got two drinks. The first one is Salep, which according to the menu is just like a milky, frothy, sweet drink. And it has nuts, pistachios on the top. So there's actually no coffee in this, which is okay. We wanted to try something that was really authentic. And then we also got the Egyptian coffee, which is this cute little tray that his brother makes himself. And you basically just pour the coffee into the cup. There's grounds in this. So you let it sit for a second and then you drink it. And then there's a little, Turkish delight to enjoy when you're done. All in like different ways. <laughs> Instead of like a prayer list, like, uh, so people leave these messages. They like put some frothy and creamy, and the nuts give it like an extra crunch. Delicious. Poor man. Still strong. <laughs> no, they're better, dude. They're thinner. <laughs> It's rich, <laughs> strong. Are you awake now? Yeah. <laughs> that was delicious. <laughs> yes. Definitely not your traditional coffee experience, like we said, but yeah. a really cool, like Portlandy spot to come yeah. to when in town. And when you bite into that Turkish delight with the coffee, oh yeah, it's just awesome, like sweet and kind of like strong coffee combination. Really, yeah. really good. It's one of those flavor combos, like PB and J flavor <laughs> combos. One of those. Excellent goes things. well together. Yeah. So our next stop is Coaba Coffee Roasters. Uh, it's new to us, but it's more of a traditional like Portland coffee experience. So we're gonna go check that out next. Woo! More coffee. Yes. We were gonna get just a plain latte, but then the girl in front of us got a vanilla latte, and I saw the black flecks of the vanilla bean in her drink, and I knew I had to have that because homemade syrups are like top of my list of like best things that a coffee shop can offer. So there's tons of little black flecks in here, and I'm so excited. Mm. It's kind of warm out, so the hot coffee's not really doing it for me right now, but this is delicious. If this was ice, it'd be even better, but so, 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 so good. Okay, so fun dummy fact for you. <laughs> uh, it's actually pronounced Kova, which is green or unroasted coffee, so if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> That latte we just had was a, a vanilla latte at Kova. It was <laughs> the best uh, latte I've had in recent memory. That's the best one I can remember. It was, I'm still thinking about it. It was good. It was really good. Syrup, and yeah. 
coffee and food is why we like to come to Portland, hence why we're doing so much of that today. They just have an awesome coffee and food scene here. Yeah. It kind of reminds us a little bit of our hometown of Austin, just lots of different types of places to eat, uh, lots of coffee to drink, so yeah. we're very happy today. Yeah, our like stomachs a, are happy, our taste buds are happy. Yeah, it's a food and drink mecca. We love coming, to, I love coming here. Oh yeah, and oh yeah. We haven't even like scratched the surface of all the good stuff. and. I mean, we have so many favorites already. It's hard to choose when we come down oh, yeah. here. You know? so. <laughs> These are like just some of our favorites. We have yeah. so many other favorites that we physically could not fit in our stomach today. Yeah. <laughs> I ripped my pants. I don't know if it's a sign from the universe that I should stop eating, but I'm not gonna listen. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> So to continue the eating, we are at Nong's Chow Man Guy, and this is an awesome spot in Portland. They used to, they had a food cart downtown, but they recently had to close that down because they're redeveloping the area, unfortunately. But they do have some brick and mortar locations, so we are at one of those. Basically, this is a dish from Thailand. They said specifically the Bangkok area. And so what it is, it's poached chicken over rice, and they cook the rice in the chicken broth. And then there's sauce that you pour on the chicken. And then it comes with the soup and a few cucumbers and some cilantro. So one of the cool things about this spot that doesn't always happen at Asian restaurants is they actually have a gluten-free sauce. So this place is gluten-free or gluten-free friendly, um, which is a huge bonus for me. So I get to enjoy it as well. So what they say to do, they have this little menu card that tells you how to eat it. It says you basically have it like this. You pour the sauce on. And then you're supposed to take a bite of the chicken rice and the sauce, and then afterwards have a sip of the soup. Sometimes I get a little crazy though, Oops. and I kind of put it all together and then dip it in the soup because it tastes really good that way too. And then you're supposed to kind of have some cucumber to cleanse your palate afterwards. And then it says, repeat and enjoy. Last but certainly not least is our top of the table must stop, must come to place in Portland. Salt and straw. Yeah. Oh my God, I can already smell it, oh, taste it. Oh, we love this place so much. <laughs> Salt and Straw is an ice cream shop that originated in Portland. They now have a few spots around the US, but it's especially awesome to come to their original locations in Portland. I, I just have no words for this place. It is so good. Unbeatable. So creamy. The flavors are unique. Yep. Just the best. We already drove by and there's already a huge line yeah. because there always is, and it's a beautiful day. Worth it. It's a great ice cream day though, yeah. I would say. Maybe oh. we should get an extra scoop. Perfect, maybe. <laughs> Okay, you gotta go big or you gotta go home. <laughs> we got two scoops. It looks like three, but it's two, and then we split the second one. So I got the berry slab pie. That's on top, that colorful one. Then I got the almond brittle. I can't turn that one down. That's my oh, favorite one there. It's the best one, one. seriously, the and number one pick. <laughs> a cupcake royale cheesecake. No, I think one. it's salted caramel cupcake. Yeah, oh my God, it looks so good. And I got their Kova coffee flavor, which is the coffee shop we just went to a little bit ago. Yeah. <laughs> has like little cocoa nibs in it or cacao nibs. I'm not sure. They have a Lucky Charms flavor that's only around for a couple more days. It has the marshmallows in it. Yeah. And then the bottom flavor is that salted almond brittle yep. ganache yep. thing. It's, oh, it's the it's best so flavor. Good, it's yeah. so good. Yeah. Pro tip. So you can split scoops there. It's like 50 cents more, but I'm pretty sure they give you double scoops. Yeah. So they're like split scoop is like a basically a full scoop. Yeah. So it's a great it's way large. to get a lot of ice cream. So today yeah. we basically have like three scoops of mm -hmm. ice cream. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh man, I'm stuffed. I don't know about you. I am so full. I mean, sugar rush. Yeah, I mean, if you put more ice cream in front of me, I'd probably eat it, but I'm glad it ran out. I we, am full. Yeah, we probably should just, go home now before yeah. we get sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've had yeah. a lot of food today. I was actually just typing out to someone all the places we went and typing it out. I was like, oh wow, we have eaten a lot today. <laughs> so 
oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. So that is the end of our Portland vlog. As I mentioned before, this vlog was more about like where we like to eat in Portland. We do have another vlog where we did the Columbia River Gorge and then we hit up more sites in Portland. So like I said before, if you combine the two, it's basically our definition of a perfect Portland weekend. Yeah. We also have a guide on our website, which is a weekend in Portland. And there's a bunch of ideas of things to do, places to eat. So I'll link to both of those things below so you can check it out. As for what's next for us. Yep, I'm heading to Austin on Friday, six days from now, and I'm working on the next steps on the van. Can't wait, Ooh. I haven't touched that thing since we bought it. So <laughs> I'm excited to it's get back and get going on it. And Adam's then, turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my turn. And then we're heading to Arizona with a, a friend, a couple of friends of ours, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. We have tons of fun stuff planned and Grand Canyon, all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, it's gonna right? be such a fun trip. Yeah. So lots of cool vlogs coming your way soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. We will see you very soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ending these vlogs is so awkward, so bye. Bye. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. And you. <laughs> <laughs>